I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll learn about properties of trapezoid. It's a quadrilateral you know and here is one drawn for you. It has four sides and therefore it is a quadrilateral. Any four-sided figure is a quadrilateral. Now what is so special about trapezoid? Well as you can see one pair of parallel lines do you see it has one pair of parallel signs and it also has two pair of equal angles can you tell me which ones are equal angles for a trapezoid well this angle is equal to which one it is equal to the angle here and the angles in the base are also equal so it has two pairs of equal angles now does it have equal sides mm, no but it has one pair of equal sides so that is what is a trapezoid now let's list all the characteristics of trapezoid so it has two pairs of equal angles and that, that is very special and these two are on the same side so be careful about that right and it has one pair of equal side so that is kind of special and therefore this time I wrote it right in the beginning and it also has one pair of parallel side okay now let's get back to the general properties of quadrilaters that means it has four sides right it has four sides therefore it's a quadrilateral correct and interior angles which are four add to how much add to 360 degrees right that is for each and every quadrilateral right so these two properties are common to all quadrilaterals and the first three are very special properties for a trapezoid okay now let's talk about the lines of symmetry how many lines of symmetry it has figure it out right and draw one it has one line of symmetry we've been talking about rotational symmetry does it have rotational symmetry hmm think about it how about rotational symmetry if I rotate it counterclockwise 90 degrees 180 degrees even 360 degrees will I get the same thing think about it if I rotate it 160 degrees then this smaller side comes on the top hmm so that is not similar so rotational symmetry for this particular figure is zero it does not have any rotational symmetry and it has one line of symmetry which you can draw right so look at it carefully draw the line of symmetry right now let me give you area of this shape which is trapezoid so we say if this set of parallel lines are a and b the length is a and b and let us say that the height is h in that case we can find the area area is sum of these two sides that is a plus b times height divided by 2 so it is half of product of sum of sides into height so that is how we get area of this shape I hope with this you have learned a lot about trapezoid so go through these properties of trapezoids and then see how trapezoids are similar to other quadrilaterals and how are they different. Thank you.